Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crack Pack. I hope you guys are all doing good. Today we're on episode 6, guys, and we're moving right along in the series. Today we're going to have a lot of fun. Got a pretty awesome video planned out for you. Anyways, question of the day for today is going to be, if you did not have applied logistics and you had to pick between Ender IO and logistics pipes, what would you pick? I'm going Ender IO, because Ender IO still has like the crafting interface, which is going to be easier. It's a little bit harder to craft, but whatever. And like challenge for today is going to be 243 likes, guys. Let's see if we can smash that challenge. I know you guys can because you're the Jevonators and you got this. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. All right, guys. So first thing we're going to do today is I promised you guys we were going to go down into the roguelike dungeons and have a little bit of fun. That's what's on our agenda. But we got a couple things we got to do before we can do that. Also, guys, a friendly reminder. If you enjoy the series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribing really helps the channel out, and I want to thank you guys because we recently hit 336,000. Fancy. For like the fourth time, actually, because YouTube removes subs, but... Anyways, so I want to go to the roguelike, but we don't have any armor. No armor for us. So, with that being said, uh, we don't have a lot of diamonds, but we do have osmium. And I thought I had more osmium than that. Uh, can I smell? Uh, all right, so we'll smell osmium really quickly and let me put you and her because I know osmium typically gives pretty good armor values. Let's turn that on. Um, I also need torches. So I'll take a stack of these. Oh, I got to show you what's in my ender pouch, too. Um, and then let's go to make. Uh, let's do by number of items. I like number of items better. Make some stickaroos. Charcoal. There we go. So we got plenty of torches to uh, to go around down there. And I might actually redo my tools to... I think if I put the, the torch right there, it works, right? Maybe it doesn't work like that anymore. Maybe it's got to be the Tinker's one. Nope. Okay, maybe it's only like that for the pickaxe then. Or has it got to be on? The, I think it can't be on the corner piece. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, you cannot be on the edge. That's weird. I don't understand that, but whatever. <clears throat> anyway, so we got we uh, we got torches. We got a sword. Golden bag. I want to go ahead and show you what's in the golden bag. Um, so as I promised, we were going to finish all of our tools off camera. You guys said I forgot moss on my uh, excavator. Got that covered. So all of our tools are now finished. And I also went ahead and made a wrench and... I went ahead and harvested a bunch of berries and um, got extra food in here as well. So we pretty much have like no berries. Well, we have XP berries. I'll take those. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save those. Uh, but we have no basic berries in here at all. These mallow berries, they really can't be used for much. If you uh, hit you, they can do they can go into the berry medley. That's really about it, though. I mean, you can squeeze it for fruit juice. Okay. So yeah, those mallow berries are kind of useless. We need a little bit more osmium. All right, I'm going to make a full set of osmium armor here. So I know that osmium is typically pretty good. Hit points 390. I don't know what the diamond boots hit points are. 429. So yeah, that's actually really close. Osmium is almost like a standard to diamond, then. There we go. You good, sir. And, oh, I want my torch back. Give me that. So we've got leggings. Okay, we need to make a chest plate. And a helmet. We need one more piece. There we go. So helmet. There we go. Fantastic. There, there. And there is one other thing I, I do want to look up real fast. Is there any sort of night vision in this pack? Uh, incense stick. That's a little weird. I know typically there's like charms and stuff, but there it doesn't look like there is any sort of night vision or any kind of cool stuff that does night vision. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's roll, homies. So if you guys don't know this already... This house is a roguelike dungeon, for those of you who are unfamiliar. Oh, we need to set Vein Miner. Vein Miner C sneak. There we go. 
I'm not sure how many levels I want to go down today. Uh, just trash these for now. And I'm probably going to keep permanent F7 on just so I know exactly where to place torches. There we go. Mouse is acting a little bit funny. Mouse, please. Okay, what do we got? We got water on that side. Nothing on that side. And then we have a spawner right here. That's a skeleton spawner. Let's go in here. Go ahead and just block that off. I'm not going to be breaking any spawners because I actually want to collect them a little bit later on. Is it on peaceful? The heck? I hate that, dude. I don't know why it does that. That drives me crazy. I love in vanilla Minecraft on our Let's Play because I locked it and then it became unlocked. That's a horse. But it does that all the time and that's super annoying. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes there's... Uh, sometimes there's like mob spawners up here. Okay, let's keep looking. Is there any good loot in this chest? I'll take the iron and definitely the bones. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Ooh, cake. I like cake. Uh, nothing really good in there. Uh, these first couple levels are probably going to be pretty low with, or not pretty low, but sometimes there are doors and there are spawners in the walls, so we got to be a little bit careful. There we go. Let's get this party started. Like I said, I'm not going to be breaking any spawners. I want to keep them. Um, well, that's a crappy potion. All right, well, I don't think there's much else in this one. Uh, we've got to find the way down, which is up here. Okay, there we go. <coughs> well, if we ever need iron, we know where to come. There is free iron in this uh, roguelike. Okay, so that's the way down. So we'd like to explore a little bit. There really isn't much on these levels in here, is there? This leads to... All right, well, at least we found the way down. Gonna go exploring. I like exploring. Exploring is definitely one of my favorite things in Minecraft to do. So we got pretty much spawners both ways. There is a jukebox room in here. Sure, why not? I'm going to kill you. I really like my, uh, my sword. Is this a mine shaft? This is a mine shaft. That's a little confusing. Where did you spawn from, sir? Sir, can I ask you about your lord and savior? No, no, you don't. Okay, where did he come from? Oh, probably. No. Oh, right there. I mean, there's so many spawners down here. This is why I wanted to come down here. Because we are going to be making uh, a spawner, like a mob spawner, eventually. And this is going to be super helpful. Uh, I'll take the copper. Not a bad bow. All right, let's um, go over this way. There's more chests over here. Um, I think this is the only chest in this room. Uh, nothing too good there. Now, if I ever need any loot or anything, I can always just come back. I mean, it's like, it's not like it's going anywhere. I mean, the spider rays want to kill me. For, you know, for having plus 15 attack damage, these spiders don't like to die fast. I'm saying, bro. I don't know why I keep um, using the corner for. I should be using this area right here. Zombies with golden shovels. More mob spawners with custom stuff. Dude, if we make a mob spawner out of the stuff that we have from just being shown here, it's going to be so crowded with like different things. Like what I mean by that is like every mob is like wearing armor, a dimlet. Boots, potion, nothing good there either. Wow. Yeah, these levels are 
pretty sad for loot, I think. But then again, we're gonna have so many mobs that it's like not gonna matter. There we go. Uh, I do want that red heart. Uh, I don't want any of that though. Let's go and put that away, put that away. Okay, let's go. I don't think there was anything in there. It was a, I don't know if we ever finished checking down here. I think we were good there. I think we got all the pathways. Uh, let's make sure that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh no, we never checked down here. I know we found the pathway, but it's random enough to the bookshelf there. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing that's really good about these roguelike dungeons is like if you ever need any material <laughs> or any kind of like help designing, just come down here and steal a roguelike design. Why not? Okay, so we got skeletons, zombies, and then wither skeletons. Let's start on this side. Seems like it'll be more fun. Now we're actually getting to the party, man. All right, let's, uh... I'm just avoiding that creeper. There we go. I wish I could place uh torches down with my freaking pick at or my sword i'm kind of salty that you can't do that no stupid right click block ruining everything i'll eh, actually we have slime island i think i'm good i got a steel helmet that ain't gonna help me any uh okay let's keep going this level is gonna be a little bit harder so we got we do gotta like kind of pay attention those last couple levels were. I'm sorry, I can get light down through here because there's gonna be a lot of mobs in a second. See what I'm saying? Lots of mobs. But as long as we keep the torches going, should be okay. Kind of surprised some of these mobs don't have diamond armor on yet. Okay. Gotta get back here. Oh, they're, they're falling down. Where are they falling down from? They're falling down from like over here somewhere. Oh, I'll need some food. They're like, they're like falling down from up here. It's like they're spawning up here. Maybe. Can't really tell. Ooh, that's pretty heavy armor on. There we go. Diamond pickaxe, I'll take that. There we go. We're actually starting to get decently good loot now. Okay. I never I've actually never seen this like uh this roguelike before. This is all new to me. Besides on like once on a live stream. Uh Al, that hurt, dude. How are these oh they're they're spawning in here now, I see. He's got an enchanted diamond pickaxe. Look at him go. Ooh. He's the bee's knees. There we go. Wow, another... Another one of these. Yeah, let them fight. While I go through and place torches everywhere. Okay, sword is gonna do much better down here. <laughs> Oh, lag. Lag. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's eat some food. Would you chill, dude? There we go. Wow, there's like... All kinds of... There must be like spawners in there or something. There's so many spawners down here. Okay, I'm not going to go down any further. I just want to get this level secured. And then we'll kind of poke around a little bit. That was all good. Because there's a lot of stuff down here that we could use. Just gotta figure out where these bastards are coming from, dude. Okay. I think I'm good. Back here. Okay, what's in here? Gas. Oh god, look at all the armor. Ugh, disgusting. Uh, gas tier. Still getting a little bit of mob spawn in here. Uh, probably up here. There we go. What was in this? I think that's a blizz. Or a horse. I think there's a mob spawner in there, too. So what, what are these things? Ah, and there's a chest back there. I see. No wonder we're getting so many mob spawns. Wow, a portal gun. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Got a portal gun. Okay, well, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Uh, I'm going to continue to look around for a little while, and uh, when we come back, we'll move on. So, there's so many spawners down here. Oh, there's two in this one. Uh, two loot bags, that, that, that. Mm, eh, safari net. Okay, yeah, there's a, there's a lot down here, man. Okay, let's move on. All right, guys, we are down in our strip mine now, and we finally get to use our hammer. Uh, another reason why I'm recording this real fast is because, um, so I, I spent a lot of time in that roguelike, like, uh, just exploring, and eventually I had found, a, oh, there's there's what I'm looking for right there. I'm gonna keep mining for a minute, though. Um, this thing is awesome, dude. Oh my god. Um, so, like, eventually I kept mining, and uh, I had found so many mob spawners that I decided to count them. And I ended up finding 27 mob spawners. I know, right? Crazy. So, um, yeah, I think what I didn't break any of them. Uh, I'm going to save them all for whenever we have, uh, you know, like something important to do. So... Uh, put that there, but yeah, so this hammer is quite the hammer it mines really fast. It's uh, yeah, it's not slow at all and Okay, well, I don't want to go too far into the mining today. I don't really want to get a lot of that done I really just want this ferris. Hopefully there's a decent amount here There is two that Might be enough I'm not sure how much we actually need Hold on, let me look. Ooh, four, eight. We need at least ten. So that would be at least six ores. Okay, I'm gonna keep mining. Once I have enough, I'll meet you guys back at the base. But but Jesus, dude, that, that dungeon was insane. Alright, guys, I just got back to the base. Let's go ahead and put our tools away and get a little bit of organization on the there and there. And then there. And I need my oh, that's the wrong one. Damn it. I hardly ever mess up. What am I doing with my life? All right, let's put all that away. You go bye bye. You, you. Okay, so we got Ferris. Let's see, is there anything in here? No, let's go ahead and put the Ferris in there to make ingots. Actually, flip that, and then we're going to put iron in there as well. Uh, so let's see. 
I'm pretty sure it's two to one, which gives us three ingots. So th let's see, we're going to need, um, I think it's, I think we're going to need, I think we're going to need eight because that we need 12 Ferris in total. And there's a hole in my ceiling. Uh, yeah, just because it's off colored. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, so that'll make uh, three. That'll make six. That'll make nine. That'll make 12. That'll be two gears, which is eight. And then the two ingots that we need for the induction smelter. OK, so while we wait for that, let's go ahead and start crafting the induction smelter. So I want to make the induction smelter because if you notice in my inventory, I have 49 levels of XP and I want to store that because I don't want to lose that. That's a lot of XP. We could definitely use that for something. So I want to make um, a good tank. I don't want to make an open blocks tank. I am not the hugest fan of those tanks. All right, so that should make uh, 12 molten envar. There we go. And let's go ahead and let that cast while we do that. Clear that. We'll put iron right here. And as you can see, I even have like 51 of these. There might be. Is it raining outside? Yeah, I can't go out there. Let's go out there as a bat. I'm still looking for XP berry bushes like I will always be. But we moved all of ours out here. Look, a couple of them are ready. But yeah, we um, especially with all of those mob spawners we found, dude, we are going to need XP storage. It's going to be bad. There we go. Put that in there. So even more of those. Take that and that. OK, so we're, we're ready to make an induction smelter now. Uh, Invar, we need two gears, one, two, induction, there we go, induction smelter is finished, um, there we go, so what do we need for these, uh, tanks, this is gonna be, so the first one's copper, the second one is more Invar, um four more pieces oh i have i have plenty in here all right so i'm gonna put um two in there sorry i didn't know i needed more put that in there so that'll go let me flip that back over and what's um i guess that's, i'll say that should be synchronized uh, so we're going to need to make um, hardened glass. So lead and obsidian. So let's go ahead and take that. And do I have any lead at all? I have five. All right. So let's go ahead and pulverize some obsidious. I don't know how much we actually are going to need. We only need four pieces. So we're going to make a decent sized tank here for this obsidian. I'll wait and take that. There we go. Put you in there, you in there. I think that makes what, like two pieces? You. Oh, fantastic. Take that and that. And I'll, if I ever need hardened glass, we can make more later. Okay, hardened glass finished. Uh, we're just waiting on the end bar for the tank now. We've got glass. There we go. Fantastic. Grab that, grab you. And let's start off with that one. That one, that one. So reinforce, what's the next one? Uh, Enderum, ooh. Do I have shiny? I wouldn't mind making, I don't have any shiny. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> How much does this hold? 128 buckets. That's uh, that's not too bad, though. So where do I want to put it? I'll put it right here for now. Uh, so we are going to need an XP grate. This guy. 
and which means we're going to need bars you there we go Does that really connect to that so we'll drain all this out of here I'm gonna get the wrench out of my thing I'm gonna move this in. I want this connecting to that is it really this slow Jesus dude does it go faster as you lose levels? I wonder how many buckets 44 XP is. It looks like it's starting to go faster. Yeah, it looks like it's just there's more. Yeah, definitely going faster. There we go. All empty. That was 64 buckets of XP. So I wonder how much 59 of these will be. Oh my God. Better off eating this on top here. This thing's probably going to be full soon. There we go. So we have plenty of liquid XP now. Uh, I can remove the drain. There we go. Fantastic. Put that up there. Oh, I still got these in here. Uh, here soon, we're going to start working on scouting for new bases as well. All right, guys. I think that is going to do it for this episode. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. I had a lot of fun uh, exploring that roguelike. Uh, we're going to have to utilize those spawners, definitely. So don't forget about the question of the day and the like challenge. And remember, guys, if you enjoy the series, make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys all have a fantastic afternoon. Oh, wow, we're running, running low. Um, and I hope you guys all have a fantastic afternoon. Um, anyways, this is I, Jevin. Peace out, everybody.